What is going on, my home Skittles? It's your boy Strikes here. The chunks are loading, the grass is growing, and it's a beautiful day to do another episode of Strikes Craft. And this is episode 31. I have some terrible news about today. Uh, for those of you who know, in Connecticut, in uh, I think it's like Newport or Newtown or whatever, um, a shooting occurred today. I think it was in the morning, I'm not sure. So, but um, a 20 year old man came into a middle school and he killed 20 children. Some that are kindergartners, most are kin uh, 20 kindergartners. I mean, most are kindergartners. Um, the rest are like first through fifth grade. <laughs> um, then he killed six adults. No, sorry, my, my bad. Uh, yeah, six adults and himself. But they also found it out that there was a man who was shot in Hoboken, which is not too far away from where the shooting take had taken place. Uh, so, I would like to ha just have a moment of silence with Frank for those children. Thank you, Frank, for giving me this, these webs. So, uh, Frank, let's just have a moment of silence, sir. I know, I love you too. Okay, we're back. Um, I had to have a moment of silence for those children because it is really awful and so many people in this world right now have sick minds and it's just... It wants me to go back in time and just fix it, just change it, you know. And, you know, I am not a huge fan of President Obama and his works, but today... He was mourning with a whole bunch of people, and he, when he gave his press conference, he was even crying, so. I gotta give it to him, because that's really sad that innocent children died for no reason because this, excuse my language, this faggot decided to come in there and start shooting people up. And I'm not saying faggot for gay people, I'm calling him, like, faggot as an asshole. Excuse me. I don't really use that language that much. But, you know, it's really sad when it comes to children, especially kindergartners. I mean, they, they had their uh, whole life set in front of them, and they were shot. And I even heard, and this is like the saddest part, is that they were um, getting ready for a play. They were getting ready for a Christmas play. And I remember when I did that in uh, elementary school. But, you know, they were getting ready for the parade. They were so hyped up. You know, they pr pr practice, they practice, they practice. And this guy comes in and shoots them all up. And I feel sorry for those parents and the friends of them. Because right now, they're comparing this to Columbine. And there's been two shootings this entire year and it's not looking good I mean in the beginning of the year there was the movie theater with Batman yeah I still remember that and now Newtown or Newport whatever elementary school People will be talking about this for decades, just like they still are for Columbine, which has happened a long time ago. And people of Columbine are still having nightmares, and imagine these little children. They're going to have nightmares for the rest of their lives, because of that booger. <laughs> but, I mean... <laughs> and uh, he also went in there and uh, shot his mom. 
I love my mom, and uh, <laughs> pretty sure I wouldn't do that. So yeah, his mom's a teacher there, um, and he shot her and killed her in a classroom with her class, along with like her students, killed most of them, and tried to assassinate or attempt to kill his father, and the father still lives. Um, you know, thank God he still lives so we can have some information. He's also got a brother that's living. But, uh, <sighs> okay, I'll, t I'll tell you what I'm building before I go on about this. This is a storage area. This is where I'm putting, like, all my items. It was recommended by Mr. Sexy Panda. Uh, one of my past episodes, and uh, that's what I'm doing right now. So, just wanted to put that out there. But uh, you know, these people, these this these days, you know, that they're, they're mad, they're crazy. I don't know what's wrong with them. And you know, people are asking right now, why did God let this happen? And I am a follower of God, and I love God. And I, I can tell you right now, God had nothing to do with this. You know, and people, if you're, if you're watching this and you are a victim or your child was a victim of, of this massacre, or you, you're a family member, then and you put in, well, why didn't God save my baby? You know, that's that's a really hard question to answer because we're uh, we're alive, and uh, well, we don't know. God wasn't there. God didn't walk in with a gun. I'm going to tell you that right now. God did not walk in there with a gun and, and take your children away from you. Okay? Your, your children were taken away by a... By a, uh, an, an, an idiot and a person who I definitely do not think he believed in God. Because if he, if he believed in God... He would have never came in there with that much uh, with that much ammo and um, firepower. Also, where is the security on this? I heard that he t he like went in there, walked in casually, like he was walking in the Macy's parade, and he walked in there with like an M14, uh, like um. Uh, a couple rifles, a huge like rifles, a bunch of ammo on them, and he just and like M16s, and he just walked in there casually, like he owned the place. Where is the security on this? Where are the cameras? How are we supposed to protect our um, fellow Americans or children? Yeah, our children from this guy who walks in there casually. You know, how, how are we supposed to protect our children if we don't have any security? Yeah, you guys should go, uh, go protest or whatever against the school because it's kind of their fault because uh, of, of this because they did not have any security. My school is intact. They have like uh, five police officers every day over there. We're not a bad school. We're a really good school. We're a five-star school. It's just that our security is really high. It has nothing to deal with, like, uh, people coming to shoot us or whatever. It's because we are a good school. And I believe that this middle school in um, Connecticut is a really good school. And apparently, really smart children were taken out this morning uh, without any security or without any... Uh, n no butts or whatever. But when he started shooting, he shot the principal. He killed her or him or whatever. And um, they put it on the intercom. And you know, I I actually have seen the real uh, Columbine clips. You know, I've actually seen the 
Um, the shooting itself, the, the people getting shot, the, uh, I don't want to go into detail, but I saw people die, and some of it is because of security, you know, um, in Columbine, they planted C4 all over the place on the outside of the, um, cafeteria, you know, where's the security there, you know, they, 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 they uh, they don't, they weren't there. And neither would these people. If these people had security, mo a lot of these, if not all, children's lives would be saved. I swear on my life that if they had better security, most of these children's lives would be, would have been saved. And I was... <laughs> I was watching the shootings and I saw the I saw people children screaming and it reminded me of the clips of Columbine Um, yeah, and it, it, it's not a pretty sight, you know, it's not all fun and games. Oh, look, I got a gun. Let me, let me go shoot some people. If you're going to do that, and I'm not approving people to go shoot peop other people, because that is inhumane. But if you're going to do that, please do not do it against freaking kindergartners. And I'm not provoking anybody to kill anybody. You know, everyone deserves a life to live, okay? And those children had entire lives ahead of them. And that creepy, messed up dude who probably would, uh, that, like, previous night, he, his fucking girlfriend, excuse me, his fucking girlfriend probably broke up with him, and he, he took his anger out on his children, my assumption. I'm not saying that's true, but you know if that if this if this sort of, sort of stuff happens, please, dude, dude, just don't take lives away, innocent lives away. It's not worth it, and then you're gonna commit suicide, and you're gonna probably go to hell, you know. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't. That's not a really smart idea. Oh my god, there's a friggin' zombie in my house. What are you doing, chump? You gonna step on a press plate? Huh, 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 huh? How'd you get in here, anyways? Like, what's up? Did you see that knockback? <sighs> Thank God. Oh, give me this. Give me, give me, give me. Um. You know, it's just been an awful day. Um. You know what, I'm just going to end it right here. Um, guys, if you... I wouldn't say enjoy this information, but if you paid attention to this information, you feel sorry for the people of Newport or Newtown or whatever, Connecticut, the people in Newtown, the victims of this, please click the like button below, because I certainly did not like talking about this, but it's a serious serious thing and it, it it was taken out this morning on little children so like favorite subscribe guys and i'll see you in the next episode of strikes craft people who are watching this and you guys are victims of this um if with this of this attack or if, if your family members are victims of this attack if i met you right now i would go up to you and hug you um goodbye guys i hope you feel better